Hi, everybody. This is Trinity Evangelical Lutheran Church in Lemoyne. Welcome to Turning Points, our 2020 Vacation Bible School. Trinity Lemoyne, that's short for our church's name, is 125 years old this year. We're celebrating by featuring our beautiful stained glass windows in our Bible school lessons. We're gonna, every day, we're gonna learn a new story inspired by our windows. Today's window shows a hand, but not just any hand. It represents the hand of God, the hand that created the universe and everything in it. Let's talk about God's creation. You know that we live on a planet named Earth and that the sun is what gives us light and heat. The moon changes from a sliver to a growing round ball and back again to a sliver in just a month's time. Beyond our planet, we have our solar system with incredible planets like Venus, Saturn, Neptune, and we have our non-planets like Pluto. Don't tell Pluto that though. It was a planet when I was growing up. Beyond our solar system, we have the rest of our galaxy, the Milky Way. The Milky Way is full of thousands of stars, every one of which shines like our sun. It's amazing. The universe is even bigger than that with many, many other galaxies, giant swirls of gas, black holes, and other solar systems, things we can't even understand or imagine. It's huge. Let's try to put it in perspective a little bit. Let's get a little bit of context. Have you ever driven on the turnpike? It's that really fast road um, that you might take if you went to Philadelphia or Pittsburgh. On that road, you can drive 70 miles an hour. That is pretty fast for a car. But did you know that light travels 186,000 miles a second? A second is this much time. If you are in a spaceship that goes that fast, you could go around Earth about eight times every second. That would give you a headache, I bet. The sun is so far away that it takes eight minutes tra for light traveling at 186,000 miles per second to reach us on Earth. Our next closest neighbor, the star Alpha Centauri, takes four years for light from our sun to reach Alpha Centauri. How old are you? How many of your lifetimes does it take for light to get here um, from Alpha Centauri? It just goes to show that the universe is gigantic, mysterious, and powerful. So if that's what the universe is like, what do you think the maker of the universe is like? The Bible tells us that God made day and night, land and sea, birds and animals, and humans to care for all of it. Jesus told us that God, our heavenly father, knows how many hairs you have on your head. He is huge and cares about the big things, but he also cares about the little things and every single detail of our lives. He loves us from the top of our head to the tips of our toes. Now, what do you think the maker of the universe is like? I know, I've got ideas. Let's pray together. Thank you, Creator God for being bigger than we can possibly imagine. 
Show your amazing power as we learn about you and your creation. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving every single little detail about us and caring about everything we do. Amen. Go, create something. Be a maker within our universe. Watch a puppet show, sing, do a fun activity, or try out a recipe. Have fun, and we'll see you tomorrow.